What's up guys, it's Mr. Janvet and today, today, today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server for an OU Live and it's been an incredible day guys, it's been an incredible four days really, um, just, just ideas everywhere and, but, but, it on spot to here, here comes the cheesy, cause you know I can't even formulate my words, firstly shout outs to Koosh for the team, uh, very cool Rio Nicholas team we're gonna be enjoying today, today, today. Um, but yeah, it's been an amazing day, man. Just positivity all around in the academy. Gotten a lot of PMs about success stories. Um, th and it's just from coaching clients and from just people who just by being in the academy, um, have gotten like, you know, I'm talking people who never even passed 1300, getting into the 1600s, all because of the headmasters that help everybody and from fellow users that help so it's all about helping man and, and it's i am just so grateful i am just so grateful to be a part of this um just truly you know and the house tour house tour has started everybody the house tour is here the house tour is now week one of the house tour is here so if you don't know what the house tour is go in the his is go to the click the link in the description go check that out the houses are going at it attack house is going against the defense house week one the speed house is going against the normal house and it's gonna be epic so definitely check that out go get yourself placed in the house there's still time for you to join the house tour how it works is best player from that team or whoever they need the slot for um, gets picked so don't think it's too late for you to get picked go get into a house today that way you can get an opportunity to get in the house tour and fight for your fellow house members and fight for your house fight for your boys so we're gonna hop right into it man um very interesting we have a very interesting runic list that's gonna be specs it's gonna be specs um future site and it's gonna be regenerator so i'm just really happy to see the interaction between I'm really excited to see the interaction, but I'm happy to see the interaction between the users, man. It's it truly kind of it got kind of warms my heart. It touches me a little bit, man. It's crazy because I just again it was just some simple shit. But this dude um is o code by Cinderace, like quite literally. I uh, forced the Corviknight, not Corviknight, the Seismitoad, in repeatedly. Um, these two blow him away. Yeah, Rinoclis plus Cinderace just wins. In fact. Let's see, I might actually think about the play because he has some points, so maybe he's solid. So Seismatoad's core purpose in this one is going to be, let's see my Seismatoad says, standard to rock set up, he has three mods weak to it, and it's potentially a help versus this thing. Um, you know, this can be annoying. Corviknight is mostly split F. Um, that's mirror armor, no pressure. Mirror armor would have been nice for Sylveon. Um, we gotta be mindful of Glaceon because we only have one fire, so ice resist and Cinderace. Um, Hydreigon is Choice Scarf, it's gonna be very good in this game. I think Choice Scarf might outspeed this thing. Um, and then Reuniclus core purpose is to fire off those hits, so then when Cinderace comes in, it's a blowback. Um, so he leads Seismitoad. Um, we'll see how he does this because he's really weak to Clefable and he's, he's really weak to so many things. He's really weak to Pyro, I mean, um, Cinderace. Ideally, I would have liked for him to lead off with something and then I U turn out into Seismitoad, U turn on the Seismitoad. But um, if he goes to rocks mindlessly, we'll court change that back. It's so like right here, I flamethrower, no drawback. I could double out to Cinderace here, but I just don't know my opponent's level of skill. I mean, he's running Mono Ice. My flamethrower play here, mm, yeah, like Corbin, I was never the play there. You got blown away. Um, and you only have one. I might be faster if he's no if he's no speed. Uh, no iron heads. Okay, so Corbin is gone, and he was faster than me. You wait to see it. Clef actually isn't faster than too much on his team. It's offensively problematic, but it just doesn't. So I'm gonna have to bring this in back versus Seismitoad if I do intend to heal. Probably won't though, I'll just attack uh, as Beartick comes up. Beartings, Beartings, Beartick. Um, I don't even believe that. Well, it gets Stone Edge. It gets Stone Edge for sure, for sure. So the question is, well, do I... 
Do I for I, I give up Clef here? Um. Hmm. So I'm gonna do is. Uh, uh, I what is this? Two eighteen, two eighteen plus times two. That is not sweet hydrogen. I don't know what this does, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how strong this thing is. Cause part of me wants to go Corviknight, but if he can two AKL me, obviously it doesn't work out. Uh, Corviknight is pretty good versus him too, so I'm gonna give Clef up here as the Isaac crash misses. You hate to see it. I don't. I don't hate to see it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh. <laughs> So size but the girl go to a year. If he's life where I don't think he two it KOs us. Um that doesn't look life for I'm just gonna hmm. I'm gonna play with the rocks up. I don't think they matter too much, they matter far more to him. I figured he'd crash again. Um And the crash's role is he might be metronome. Hmm, doesn't matter. I'm ready to give up Quag, get Cinderace in. Hey you have a problem. Houston. So you turn out here um, on the off chance he goes size me right. And this allows for I could psychic Psychic guarantees a KO. Beer tick is dead. Clef coming in. Heals. I see I'll go Clef here and heal. Um I should outspeed Obama Snow uh, if he sacks Beer Tick. What I don't want is to go to one of the reunions and he sacks Beer Tick. Uh, especially if he does, does he does? <laughs> especially if he does foolish shits like that. Uh, I don't know his item. Hmm. So he goes Sylveon. Uh, this is gonna be annoying, but with Corviknight alive, uh, we will we will survive. We will survive. Hey hey. As he just CMs, um, could be problematic again, you know, but uh, because we're just gonna Brave Bird here and it's Brave Bird into Powerball, so hmm, um, Brave Bird is doing. We should protect kind of he might not have protect actually so let me um he might just attack me here and this is where it sucks that I don't have um he doesn't even wish what the hell is going on this guy's whack what the hell just happened bros um I'd wear I'd use mirror armor on this team um it's pretty Hatterene susceptible and Sylveon susceptible so I think mirror armor is better for those two uh, as he goes to Obama's no, you think you guys are to me cousin? Well, well if he has Aurora Veil, doesn't matter. So I roost here, um, which allows me to wall all his stabs. And <clears throat> he might sack Bear Tick. Nah, you just Aurora Veiled. Oh, why would you just predict me, bro? Why would you predict me, bro? But yeah, he's gonna um, go for the ice move here. Bear Tick is dead. Bear Tick. Bear Tick. But yeah, bros. The house tour is popping and booming right now. I've had people picking up the book, getting saying great things, man. Um, why is he allowing me to stall out his hell? Okay, I'll take those. Um, yeah, at this point, you just lose to all sides of the tour comes in. But yeah, um, Corvina is back. But you hate to see it. You hate to see it if you're my opponent. But yeah, man, people have been raving about the book, and I'm glad, man. It's crazy because, you know, initially I was like, well, yeah, Moonblast is no drawback. You know, I, I should have done a better job at marketing it, and I did intend to. However, the channel got hacked with reshifted the focus, um, and from that blossomed the academy. So he was heavy duty boots, All right? Okay. Uh, he did miss a crucial Isaac crash, you know, that mattered. Um, yeah. I don't even have Fire Blast. Mm -hmm. Let's position in Cinderace. But yeah, I also have heavy duty boots, sir. And Cinderace looks like he, he wears boots, though. But yeah, you know, from that came 
this channel and the academy, right? So, um, you know, our focus reshifted, and from that reshift, the academy was born, the house tour was born, all these things were born. Uh, so I'm glad my, <laughs> it's crazy. You know, I'm glad my channel got hacked. You know, as crazy as it sounds. Um, let me see. I use Future Sight versus. So it's Dark Types. Future Sight plus. Well positioned Cinderace sequels and kill. Cinderace just in and of itself is pretty problematic for him. Uh, Corviknight's core purpose is going to be. Uh, to keep that Reuniclus in check. Uh, hmm. So I like I still like Fire Blast on Hydreigon. I get the Flash Cannon idea. Um, you know, a plethora of fairies, but Bisharp is a is a massive problem for this. I see a change. Either Body Press Corp or keep Fire Blast on Hydra. So I'm gonna have to play around the Bisharp well. So let's see how we want to strategize this. And so Corbinite, I mean Seismitoad is literally gonna be around for that Bisharp. Um, Cause I'm also Earthquake, which is knock him out. Earth Power is a better shot. Um, we don't want Como to get too out of control, though. Push comes to show we Draco that um, with Hydreigon, so we get the damage off. Clefable is very difficult for him to deal with, so we're gonna take advantage of that whenever he goes to Como or Seismitoad, and we're gonna start blowing things back. Runiclis only comes in on Seismitoad, Como, and Corviknight. Only half a team. So, you know, in a grand scheme of things, kind of way, I, I don't have a sweeper, but I do have my Cinderace, which is just very difficult for him to switch into by having it being that he has one fire resist. And Clefable is incredibly difficult for him to switch into if I click the correct move. All that being said, uh, Cinderace on lead forces the Seismitoad in, which allows Cinderace in, which allows um, Clefable in. It's probably going to mindlessly rocks. Uh, not too bothered by that. The question is, which mine do I want to go to? Do I want to go to? Because if I go, I'll go to Clefable and Mindless Rocks. And then what I'll do here is, mm, I don't have enough information. I'll just flamethrower here. I don't have enough information. I was gonna double to to Corviknight. Um, these guys, uh, I, that crit definitely mattered. He was offensive, Aegis Slash. Uh, as he goes to Bisharp, we go hard size Matoad here. No drawback play SDs. I keep him in check. Hydreigon revenge kills. But he's definitely iron heading here. Um, so, again, grand scheme, grand scheme Cinderace, right? Um, so, that being said, it's, it's a question of what conditions we need met. We can't really get rid of the size Matoad yet. Um, there's just no way around that. So I'm debating whether or not I should get up rocks here Because I mean his initial play will likely be Seismitoad um, Could be Corviknight too And if I'm one if I'm aiming to get as much value out of the turn as possible Yeah, we're not even gonna play with the stealth rocks being uh, the primary focus as I'm sure he's just gonna mindlessly um, Go for the Z belly jump thing. Yep. Hmm. So my man just shut the whole brain off. As there's plethora of ways I can go about this. Uh, Clef is definitely my weakest link, so I can switch around. I actually think he's gonna predict me to predict. I'm gonna let the timer go down. I think he's gonna predict me to predict. But that, I don't really have flash cannon switchings. Uh, my Corviknight is far more important than is it? Hmm, that's not true. Corviknight is not more important than Cliff. It's slightly less important. Flash Cannon. Uh huh. Toxic. Flamethrower. Yada 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 yada. Um, did he get Throat Spray? He did. He did get. It. Whoa. So, um, Corviknight is going to go down here. I'm just thinking, saying, okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, let's just Brave Bird here. Oh, wow, Corviknight is a beast. Corviknight is a beast. 
Going as a beast. I actually Ray Bird would have misplay there. I should have U-turned. Um, you know, Toxic would have brought him down. That way, I would have had the dead fodder rather than have la losing. Rather than have losing. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as we mentioned, Cinderace is a problem. As he goes Bisharp, um, I'll just, uh, I'll just Powerball, Powerball into. Assuming we hit, yeah, Powerball into. So the biggest threat to my team is now gone. So it's now a matter of time. It's a matter of time before things unwind. Uh, we're just gonna U-turn here. I don't care if he sword. He's probably gonna sword his ass. Yeah, trying to capitalize. Um, and I'm not upset with him about that. Uh, at this point, Seismitol comes in, sword his ass. Yep. And it's all about damage at this point. There's no point in stalling a whole bunch and yada yada yada. So he's gonna be life four most likely. Bring him to the range where life four knocks him out. It's not quite, but Mimikyu's the only thing that was un of any real relevance. Uh, we go to Hydreigon here, we Dark Pulse, no drawback. We're naturally faster, so he doesn't even know if we're, we're boosted yet. And we go hard to Clefable here in case he saw bulk up U-turns, and that's game. Um, I feel like I've played this dude before, back when I was learning um, what things did in this tier. <laughs> Yo, properly timed recover. Your boy Jam has the future side ability, um, and he played just like this. And I, but I remember overestimating him. And I guess Iron Head is the move now, but that's gone. Um, yep. Yeah, so all we need to do is prevent the burn. I'm not the burn, but prevent the the healing. And then uh, Cinderace comes in and blows that away. So, but yeah, man, it's it's been dope, man. Like I am so proud of everybody that's a part of this. Truly, you know, it's a movement and the movement is about having Having a, a metagame where people are actually good again where people have a place they can go so like what I've learned through coaching people is Let's talk about skills, but just more about how like most people operate in the sense of, you know, you may hop on showdown and grab a few games and leave or, you know, grab some games at work or da 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 but what what was lacking is the accessibility let's say you were newer or you weren't new but you didn't really like have a what's good bro um you didn't really have a bunch of people that you knew that you could just link up with you didn't have a, a, a tribe that you could link up with or a group and you know what that does is it allows you to at any moment go into a place where you're gonna find a group of like-minded individual whether it be is gonna be in your defense house attack house speed house normal house or just in the general Academy um, and I think while that wasn't exactly my original intention the fact that it panned out like that is incredible and I'm so proud of them um, it's really weak to Clefable unless he's Spadef Clef we're gonna have to play very wisely with Runiclis has a lot of potential uh, play wisely around Obstagoon, Como, yada yada yada, all that good shit. So let's left to right. Um, Runiclis picks up a KO versus this, this, and is very damaging versus this. Obstagoon is its core switching, it's really its only one, and Corviknight, Corviknight as well. Um, I'm not faster than Clef, I mean, Toxbreak, which I'm not fond of. Um, Clefable's core check is going to be his own Clef. Seismitoa's core purpose in this is going to be... Mm, no real counters to anything. Um, but I'm going to keep it healthy. Because I, I'm I'm wary about the Obstagoon. Um, Corviknight is going to be... Como check. Maybe I use Corviknight for um, Obstagoon. Um, this is for Boosted Como and whatnot. In the race, worst case scenario lead would be would be probably obstacle. I don't think he'd lead with that um, as he leads Clefable. I'm really surprised by this lead, unless this is his rocker. This is Rock's Clef, so he goes hard Como, -O, which I don't understand. Oh, he's he's defensive Como, so maybe this is his rocker. In which case, I don't believe this gets. So yeah, stealth rocks there. Since we're gonna be playing a stealth rock field game, so be it. 
Um, because it doesn't. I don't really have a win con per se. Like this is gonna be more of a whittling down of teams um, style of game. Uh, I want to be wary of Obstagoon. Um, let's see, Obstagoon, Fable, Cinderace. Not sure what his initial switch to this would be. I'm gonna double out to Cinderace. Yeah, I figured Obstagoon would be his mine. And now he has to decide whether or not he's gonna believe that I'm gonna court change. Um, so I U-turn out. Clef invites. Let's find out if he's Spadef Clef. If he's Spadef Clef, that's what he'll go to. Yeah, he's Spadef. Took that poorly. Let's see if you're um, Moonlight. Your wish, so you have to protect here. Okay, excellent. So we'll court change now um, as he goes to Pex. So I'm not sure if he has Baneful Bunker. Want to be mindful of that as he scalds. Runiclis gets to come in. So now he thinks that I'm set up Runiclis, which is excellent. As I'm pretty sure Corviknight is going to be his man of choice. Bingo. And that's exactly what I needed. So now we put him in a position where Cinder is a very real problem if positioned well. So his initial switch into Clef. So I'm going to go Clef here because uh, I think it's just the best positional man. Um, and we put him in a spot here where he has to take a flamethrower and a foresight if he chooses to stay and if he's faster than me. But I've seen, oh, he's faster. So he's gonna have to take a future sight and um, the flamethrower. So now Corviknight can't is now at half. Not the biggest deal in the world, but the fact that it's for death matters. Uh, so now at this point, yeah, we force the Corv out. He's forced to wish. Force the wish. Oh yes, Thunder Wave. Wow. What? Wish protect Thunder Wave. I guess that's not that surprising. Fuck. Oh, that's annoying. Um, this does mean he can't. He has to switch out here. I mean, obviously I'm faster, but he might not. He might not. I can't have him wishing for free. Come on, coming in isn't the worst thing in the world. Okay, he's smarter than the average bear. My opponent isn't bad. He's not a bad player. So you turn out here. Um, Reun back as he toxics. I'm surprised he toxic there because the real one is pretty obvious. Um, unless he knew I was over, not overgrow, what's this called? So my opponent would either go to Obstagoon or Corviknight here trying to take advantage of this moment. Um, Cinderace used to be my man. Uh, I'm going to try to hit this uh, as he goes to Clefable. Solid mid ground, solid mid ground. Uh, so we go back to Cinderace as he's gonna wish. Mm -hmm. I want Como Owen. Ugh, I wanted the U-turn Como Owen, but uh, it is what it is. Mm. Cause he's getting reckless with his Clef. I don't think he realizes that. So now Clef can't come in willy nilly, which means he's gonna go to. Mm, it doesn't matter what he goes to. I know he'd go Toxapex, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. Not versus me. Um, so we're looking at a roll here. Pretty sure it's in his favor. Mm -hmm. uh, so a court change, because he has to protect. Uh, and he has to predict, because if I, if I go for Powerball as he doesn't court change, right? So now we're playing a game of, cause, because Runiclus is such a problem, if he goes to the wrong thing on my Runiclus, he's screwed. I like right now, if I if he goes to Korv, I'm pretty sure he dies. Um, I don't think he'd go Clef. Let me think. So he, the, his options are Clefable, Corviknight, or Obstagoon. Fable Corbinite Oxygoon. Man, that's <laughs> in the race. Why'd you get paralyzed, bro? Because I allowed it. It's 100% my fault, bro. I'm sorry. So I'll double back to Clef here. Positionally, he's just best. Um, I figured he'd go Oxygoon, but I just couldn't. I lost a lot of momentum if I missed. If I missed there. So I need to figure out if 
if I die to facade. So it has a 25% chance to knock me out. Um, ah, he has a 25% chance to knock me out. That was a big KO for him. Ah, that's what that's whack. <laughs> it's gonna be really hard for me to win now. Um, he had a 25%. That was a big, it's a big misc. That already is adamant. Cause I could have, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have risked that. Uh, I just knew if I removed Hopsagoon, this game was over. I just go to my Clef, I mean my my Runiclis, and just drop bodies. Um. So now it's a. Uh, he probably doesn't value his Hopsagoon that much, so I'm expecting that to get sacked. But I can bank on the choke, so I'll I'll future sight here. As he goes Corve. Mm. Yeah, this puts you in a spot where you give up a Pokemon. So I powerball here. <laughs> Man, that's that's lame that Clef died there. Unless I didn't run the calc properly. Um so I cause I was calculating it quick. So it says so that's assuming Jolly or like max speed obstacle. Um, unless that's not what they run max HP Clef unless I wasn't max HP well I wasn't actually I wasn't max HP yeah I shouldn't have risked that I have a lot less HP than max so let's see the 180 that roll now turns into a 50% chance yeah big mistake by my end by not calcing that so he's giving me coma O um, so that's dead obviously as now my goal is for him to knock my Coronite's item off as he doubles to dry pole it's quality play. Um this only matters if right if depending on his Dragon Pole set, because now you're staring down Dre. Um I don't think I can win anymore. I needed Clef. Clef was like quick easy money. Uh, I think I might be too weak After we'll see we'll see I think with the correct plays on Ryun I might be able to pull this off Because he doesn't have u-turn on the Corviknight, which is a big deal Hmm Powerball here getting the burn right there. That'd be dope. Because the, the reason uh, Toxapex coming in doesn't matter is because, ah, oh, that's fucking lame, man. That is so lame, bros. Shit. <laughs> uh, my opponent's playing well, though. He's, he's, he's playing his life out. Um, I fucked up big time with the Asagoon play because I had him in the Vortex there. Because uh, all I needed to do at that point was go to... to um, Corviknight, if I knew it wouldn't have killed. Lackadaisical plays. Um, and now I'm being punished for it. Hmm. Because he's not going to hex here. I got to outplay him here. I don't think he's going to hex. Ah, oh, man. I think he's going to sub. Oh, he has Draco. Huh. What is his set? I can't win now for sure. Maybe he's like some other kind of shit. Maybe some kind of status team. Okay, so yeah, I needed um, I needed to survive the hit from the obstacle in there. Uh, that was the pivotal turn in the game. So when I made that mistake, it put everything else in in um in a bad spot. So silly play on mine. Say sacking Corv makes sense. Uh, it's no longer relevant. Mm. Sprite went picks. Ah, that's annoying. That's some annoying hit. Ah. Good game, dude. So the fact that the the, the dragon thing was. Um, GG, bro. Uh, 
I mean, there were some little hacks here and there, but I could have won that game despite that. I don't think the para hacks is what really. One, I could have scouted. There are a couple things I could have done differently there. I could have scouted better for T Wave. I didn't know T Wave Clef was a thing, but you know, in hindsight, that's not that far fetched. Uh, so we could have scouted better for T Wave Clef, which would have. Because Cinderace was just way too important to have him T Waved. So I could have just hard switched into into Corvi, or I could have hard switched into Reuniclus on the Clefay, because Reuniclus, I believe, was already status at that point. So a couple things I could have done differently. Um, but now I know. Um, so those strats won't work again. And then Clef, now we know Dice to Officer Goons hit. It's Guts boosted too, so. Put Guts on this, right? Yeah. It's Guts boosted too, so. Yeah. Uh, so this is, gonna be, this is gonna be our final game. Mm, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, I need some practice to see what's up in the meta game. Really psychic week though. No psychic resist. Core of guards against most of his team, <laughs> meaning none. Uh, gotta be aware. Core, um, Cinderace is very good. I um, mean, checking the uh, the Togekiss speed checking that. Hmm. Hmm. I'll roll this. I'll just double down on Reuniclus. Get it in as many times as possible. What's up? Get it in as many times as possible. Kind of roll. I'm not gonna over over. This game is not gonna be overly complicated. Uh, forcing, yeah, force everything. But because if you lead this on your and you're not, um, what's good, bro? Thank you. I need to be more consistent with the OU lives too, because we keep the cane back. But I'm like, there are days on end where I don't play. Um, it's an interesting turn, right? Uh, so I'll do is pivot Clef. Um, yeah, I figured if Toxic it come in, because like right here, right? If hmm. Yeah, let's just move blast here. There's no drawback. Toxic can't harm me. Okay, so it's what Screech Dougie. I'm fine with that. I'm surprised he did that much. He's adamant. There's no way you do half. Well, this is this not. It's not like the cleft I'm used to. So maybe he does. No way you do fucking half with that dude. Earthquake. Clef is loses a lot of bulk. Like Clef, you you're used to Clef taking like thirty percent from things, but like this is no defense. Clef can't take shit. Wow. I mean, I, I'm fine with him knocking me out. Like that's not a problem. Um, here we go, Dragon, and we pick up a kill here. Um, we don't have info on anything yet anything meaning Dragapult that's fine so race has to be the mine if Dragapult comes out I can go Corviknight Seismitoad is definitely a better bait because they seem to mindlessly rocks forgetting one they don't have a psychic resist um, so Runiclus comes in as he's gonna mindlessly rocks so I'm expecting Togi this is a sequence gonna go Togi into Probably don't get too ego. So I'm guessing I'm at the end of this exchange. I'm expecting his Togekiss to almost be dead, and my Cinderace on rocks to be on the end of his field in three turns. Let's see, Togekiss. He's gonna air slash trying to flinch because now he realizes okay. Oh wait, I get two KO by this. Mm -hmm. He stays in. Didn't expect him to stay in there. Surprised he was gonna give up his, um, give up his, especially because he could just go seismic and set the rocks back up for no guy. So that gives me information on his, the type of player this is. Uh, fire, yeah, I changed it to, to fire blast. Oh no. Uh, it gives me insight. Um, so it's gonna be a kill. It's gonna be an interesting end game. I mean, I can dark pulse through his team if he sacks Toxapex here as he does. 
Um, I can probably dart pulse through his team. He's really weak to this. Uh, Toy Kiss comes and has to take a hit. Corvi. And then that's Bray Bird Fodder as he goes to Flamethrower. I'm not taking anything from that. And now it's more. It's more. Um, he's definitely Hex. Uh, hmm. He size until he's here for this. So I'm, not, I'm not tripping about that. Uh, toxic for free here. As his size metal likely rears its ugly ass ass head. Um, now ideally, our late game is so we're gonna keep size metal around that way. It's not too much nonsense with the with the late game versus the pyro. I mean, pyro th that thing. Um, so we're gonna go hard reun. Gonna take a little bit of damage. Oh, he rocks. The fool. Uh, so yeah, I'll just psychic here and blow this away. Yeah, I got plus poison. You're dead. Which means we get to regen. Um, I'm gonna calc Hydrogon's Draco Meteor versus this thing. So Cinderace. Mm, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Cause what I don't want is Dragapult. It's definitely sub hex. So the the ideal go. So what I'll do is sack. I go hard side until you knocks me out. I go back to Reuniclus after regen to be able to take any one hit. Or I could sack Corviknight here. Go Seismitoad. Forge the Dragapult to hex me. Yeah, that's a better sequence. Forge the Dragapult to hex, because otherwise he can't sub. Which actually, that's not true. I toxic here. Mm. Yeah, I toxic here. You missed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm free to Earthquake now. Yeah, this is perfect. Cause I, w I just wanted to make sure he couldn't sub and disable. If that's what he was going for. Uh, Shadow Balls though. Which means he might not be GG. He, he wasn't Hex. Well, he, he might have been like the other guy. So yeah, we played a lot better in that one, obviously. So that's how you do it. You learn and you rinse and repeat, learn. Um, definitely bros definitely got a lot more to get this week's gonna be good this week is gonna be good because I have a lot more time I'm gonna gonna take some time off I'm really gonna double down I have a lot like I literally have a list of videos that I have to get done they're about 20 let's see 23 videos to get done um your boy's great. It's gonna be 23 videos to get done, and all those videos are the video compliments to the book. So none of those videos are gonna be like like all oh, you lives or anything like that. So I'm gonna definitely need some time for that. I wanna I wanna really put that out there um, and make the community great again, man. I think y'all definitely have the potential, and I'm no fucking I'm not your damn psychologist, but. A lot of this is a lot of your shit is mental, like, and I don't mean in like a self-esteem manner, but in a in a mindset manner, in how you approach things, in either in life or you know, it's period, uh, or in just Pokemon, um, a lot of your problems are mindset related. So, if you do want to get a coaching session with me, um, I think I'm honestly, just the way things are going. I'm not going to be coaching for too much longer. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, that's going to be available for... I'll see by the end of January if I'll do it after that. Um, time might take over and other you know, things. Something I really enjoy doing. So if that's something you want, you know, click the link in the description. Go to the Discord, PM me, and then we'll set up a session, set up a time schedule that... Um, it's not free. It's paid coaching. So don't come to me. For free coaching and don't be ridiculous uh, and then that's per hour 
and yeah let me know and yeah grab the book if you don't if you don't want that the book is about the same amount the books actually cheaper uh, but then you'd have you know I directly tell you what your problems are so uh, that's the downside of the book versus me so it's just really whichever one you want you know, if that's not it get some free content on patreon plenty coming out got a probably a road to rank coming out today on that and yeah with that being said I'll see you guys in the next one house tour is booming baby peace